So when Biscuit came to us at Red Bank, um, he was really unstable in both his back legs. He was really struggling to walk, he was collapsing, he was crying out. The owners recognized that there was a major problem, so they reached out to a group we work with sometimes called Doxy Rescue of Bucks County. They volunteer to help owners with dachshunds that have back problems, as well as other medical issues. Without hesitation, the owners jumped in their car. It's a two hour drive from their home to Red Bank, and they brought Biscuit in right away. Obviously, the reason why they did this is they were trying to get Biscuit the best possible care, and after being you know, at Red Bank for over two decades, we really have quite a bit of experience in dealing with dogs with uh, back problems such as what uh, Biscuit had. In the middle of the night, our emergency doctors looked at Biscuit and knew right away that there was a problem with Biscuit's back and he would need an MRI immediately. So at 4 a.m. in the morning, I looked at Biscuit and saw that there was an issue with uh, the spinal cord in the middle of Biscuit's back. After re recognizing the problem, I decided to go ahead and get an MRI because I was worried there might be a herniated disc with Biscuit. I realized there was a major problem with the spinal cord in the mid portion of Biscuit's back. So after setting things up, we were able to get an MRI and we found a large disc compressing uh, Biscuit's back at L23, so the second and third lumbar vertebra. It's, it's a matter of time with these patients. We need to see them right away because the longer the compression exists on the spinal cord, the worse the prognosis. With Biscuit, his problem was uh, intervertebral disc disease or a disc herniation. Some people for short refer to it as IBDD. And it's very common in dachshunds, Frenchies, small breed dogs like Lhasa's, Shih Tzu's, Beagles, and very long breed dogs dogs with very long backs that have short legs, but it can happen really in any breed. This is part of the vertebral column of a large breed dog. This is part of the thoracic and lumbar region. The most common place for these discs to occur is in this region. The vertebra have in between them a region where there's a disc, and the disc allows your back to bend. Without it, you'd just be a straight rod. The problem is that's the weak point, mechanically speaking. And so whenever a patient flexes or extends their back, they're more likely to herniate a disc. And this is very true in the small breed dogs. If you think about it, a dog should be a very large animal like a wolf or a coyote, not a tiny little dog like a dachshund or a Frenchie or some small breed. In doing so, those discs will actually herniate up and press on the spinal cord, which is running right through these vertebra. So biscuit surgery is very standard, straightforward procedure. Basically, I'm gonna just remove this bone. And remember, there's overlying muscle here. Once I drill away this bone, the spinal cord in the disc is sitting right there. So it's a technically challenging procedure to remove the disc off of the spinal cord. Once that's done, we cover the bone up, uh, close up the incision, and the patients are in the hospital for two to five days, resting, uh, trying not to move around much. They're on pain medicines and antibiotics. And then they go home to rest for four to six weeks. Biscuit's recovery was really unremarkable. Biscuit was in the hospital for a couple of days after surgery. Sometimes they have to stay for up to five days, but within a day or so, Biscuit was back to walking normally. Sometimes he was a little wobbly, but most of that was from the medication he was on that tries to prevent any evidence of uh, pain associated with the surgery. The owners kept him strictly uh, uh, resting during the recovery period, which usually lasts four to six weeks at home. They keep him in a, a cage or a pack and play, and they only let him out for short, short walks. I think one of the important things for Biscuit's recovery is the owners did get a stroller and they would take him for walks outside. Psychologically, that's really helpful for a lot of these dogs to be able to smell their normal neighborhood, see the normal things that they often see, and even get a chance to walk on the grass and smell the neighbors, the other dogs, etc. Having intervertebral disc disease and surgery could be really scary for most owners. Rightfully so, we're taking a disc uh, off of the spinal cord once it's herniated. 
But really, the most important thing to realize is there's lots of ways to try to prevent it. Thank you, Biscuit. Obviously, when you have a breed like this, you don't want them running up and down stairs, you don't want them jumping off of furniture, and it really can help if you have things like ramps around the house so they're not jumping on and off furniture. The interesting thing about Biscuit is to make sure that he psychologically felt part of the family, the owners actually put some wheels on the bottom of his crates so they were able to move him around the house so he felt part of the entire family. And really important that with Biscuit, there, his little buddy Mooney, uh, who's the professional dachshund model, never left the side. They were able to sniff each other through the cage, which was important for Biscuit's recovery.